This is the statement that the ICJ delivered in the interactive dialogue with the High Commissioner for Human Rights on the situation of human rights in Sri Lanka. Mr. President, the ICJ welcomes the wide-ranging report of the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. We appreciate its recognition of the heavy militarization of civilian functions, including the widespread appointment of senior military figures into positions of administrative authority and the need for independence of the Attorney General's Department. In the past year, the human rights situation in Sri Lanka has only deteriorated further. The refusal by the government to ensure accountability for crimes under international law and the release of several high-ranking military personnel suspected of such crimes indicate a continuation of systematic impunity. Surveillance and harassment of human rights defenders, journalists, lawyers, activists have increased. Impunity for cases of enforced disappearances and intimidation of the families of the disappeared by security forces continue. Extrajudicial killings by the police have sharply risen and Tamil and Muslim prisoners have been particularly vulnerable to ill-treatment and torture in detention. In one instance, committed by a state minister. Cases of arbitrary detention have increased and the Prevention of Terrorism Act despite calls for its repeal continues in use. The government's refusal to repeal the Prevention of Terrorism Act and the continued impunity of for violations of international law are illustrative of the Sri Lankan government's general unwillingness to engage in real accountability measures. Madam High Commissioner, what further steps can the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights take? to press the government to fulfill its commitment to accountability. I thank you.